Okay, folks, this is an IC1, and we have a red line here with the new expert firmware options. I wanted to do a quick video uh, to show you this detector and the response times uh, with the new firmware that are out there. Uh, Escort Radar from the Escort Radar Forum sent me this unit so that I could do this testing. So, uh, big thanks to Larry. I appreciate it. Um, we're just going to do the video with uh, the Stalker 347 unit here because otherwise it would be one of those half hour video things. I'll do a full set of testing here and post the results out there on the form. Uh, but right now we're just going to check this out. Uh, right now it's in stock settings. It's, it's pretty much uh, factory defaults with the exception that we have X-Band turned off and we have TSR turned off. Uh, we're going to test it with the DSR2X and we're going to use both the fast lock remote and the instant on remote just to show you the difference between stock settings on the red line and then activating the expert firmware options okay first we're going to hit it with the fast lock remote this is where the remote itself times the shots uh, between four tenths of a second and five tenths of a second so we're going to give it a few shots here and see how it does Okay, that was a miss. We'll hit it again. Two misses. Two tries, two misses. Three tries, three misses. Okay, so it's not catching the uh, the fast lock there. It probably could. Let's give it a couple more shots here. Four shots, four misses. Five shots, five misses. Eventually it will catch one of these. Six shots. Seven. Eight. Nine. It's going to make a liar out of me. There we go. So it caught one out of ten shots with the fast lock remote. Now this remote shooting between four tenths to five tenths of a second. Uh, the instant on remote can be even quicker than the fast lock and I'll show you that. We'll try shooting a couple shots down around three tenths of a second. Now even in these settings it should be able to catch the occasional shot down in this range. 0.31 of a miss. 0.31 a miss. 0.35 a miss. 0.37 a miss. 0.37 a miss. We'll give it one more shot. 0.34 and a miss. Okay, well, you see what the problem is. The problem with factory settings is the red line is just a little too slow. So let's get rid of that. Let's speed it up. Let's go into our band mods. X band is turned off. We'll leave it off. K band is on. This is KA super wide. It's on right now. We're going to turn that off. And here's where we go in and segment KA band. We're going to leave, leave KA1 off, don't need it. KA2, we're going to turn on, okay, because that would cover 338. 3 and 4 we leave off. We'll turn on 5 because that would cover 347. 6 and 7 we leave off. And segment 8 we turn on to cover 355. 9 and 10, we don't need them. Pop is off, we'll leave it off. SWS off. Laser is on. TSR is off. RDR, we're going to turn this off. That's the KA filtering. That also slows us down. Okay. So now, we've got the new firmware options enabled. Uh, we're going to go back to the fast lock remote. And if you remember, we only caught 1 out of 10 shots with this bad boy. So let's go ahead and hit it and see how it does. There we go. 
Cut it right off the bat. And then we're going to give it 18 seconds to reset here. Make sure it doesn't park. I don't think the escorts do, but just to be sure. I know there's a correlator register in there that will keep a value in it, and it takes 18 seconds for it to empty out, but I don't think that has anything to do with uh, actually triggering an alert. Here we go again. Two for two. Eighteen seconds. I'm just going to give it one more shot with this because I think it would catch these all day long now. And then we'll move to the instant on remote and we'll get a little quicker. Okay. There we go. Three for three. All right, now we're going to move on to the instant on remote and we're going to hit it with that. This will allow me to speed up the shots a little bit quicker than the uh, fast lock remote. I'll time them myself. Uh, let's go down under three tenths of a second, make it challenging, and see how we do. Point two eight seconds with an alert. Give it eighteen seconds. Okay. 0.28 seconds with an alert. And so you can see these new firmware options really speed the red line up. It's not scanning all that unnecessary KA bandwidth, and it's turning off the radar detector rejection filtering, which you really won't find a big need for that now with KA segment one turned off. That eliminates most of the falsing that you would experience. Uh, anything down below 33.6 gigahertz is pretty much junk. 0.25 seconds with an alert. So there you have it. Uh, I'll do a more thorough test with all the frequencies and uh, post those results up later but just wanted to give you a quick uh, visual of uh, how much improved these new firmware options uh, pick up the response time of the red line and as a result of that you're also going to experience better range with this detector okay uh, thank you again Larry really appreciate it it's fun bye bye